Hey guys, Tony here, and lately I've been getting a lot of questions um, about my Jack specific Godzilla that I custom sculpted and repainted over to make his makes his spikes look bigger and all that. People have been asking me, how did you do that? How did what kind of paint did you use and all that? So I was able to get my hands on another Jack specific Godzilla here. Um, so I am actually going to do kind of a tutorial video of how you can do that yourself to your Jack Pacific Godzilla figure. Um, it's actually a lot easier than you think. I'll show you the supplies you need and before you start thinking, oh, it's too many supplies, I won't be able to do it. It's, you only need a couple things. And I'm going to show you exactly what you need so you can make yours look somewhat like that. If hopefully better, mine's just kind. Of, I'm kind of an amateur. I'm not a professional painter or anything, but you know, better than the original paint job. You know, on the tiny little spikes, you can make yours look better. So, I'm gonna show you how you can do that. All right, let's get started. All right. So first, I'm gonna start off by uh, sculpting the spikes here, and all you need is this right here. Creative uh, paper clay, or it doesn't have to be this exact thing, but any modeling clay that you don't need to stick in the oven because obviously you can't stick him in the oven or he'll be a crispy critter and you don't want that. So get the air dry, um, the air hardening clay from, you can go to like Michael's or Hobby Lobby or like a, you know any ho hobby sh store and just get some molding clay. Air dry. Alright, now I'm going to open this thing up. And I'll show you how you can sculpt the spikes. Alright, so here's the clay all out of its package. And you're just going to tear it apart. You're going to get some chunks. Probably about this big. Like that. I'm going to start right here at the top of his head. Just kind of breaking apart in little tiny chunks. So kind of just lay it on there. Get a foundation on it. And also, um, if you're watching this, I will be selling this one. Uh, I'm going to be selling this one on eBay. I don't know a price yet, but uh, I will put the link in the description below. So you can check it out for yourself. Um, but yeah, because since I already have mine, I'm just going to sell this one. So, but yeah, and make it like a little tiny spike with it. See that? Make a little tiny point. Yeah.
Okay, so now the uh, clay spikes are pretty much done. I'm just going to let them air dry. These are the ones I chose to do because they were worth doing. I almost did the middle part where the tail connects, but I decided not to um, because to ship this thing, I'm going to want to take the tail off, and if I cover that up, I won't be able to twist it off. So uh, I'm going to leave that spot able to twist off. Um, if you want to fill in the gaps where the tail moves, you can, but I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm going to leave all the gaps in his arms and legs and his head able to move. I'm, I'm not going to put clay in there. One thing you want to do put clay in is the screw holes. I forgot to do that. So, you just take, you just take a little... Um, hey, that's too big. Take a little piece of clay like that. And, well stuff is weird um, just kind of fill in the screw holes that's uh, a little too much still uh, just fill it in make it look like there's nothing there get some more and this stuff is weird anyways yeah you get the idea just fill in the screw holes with your clay because screw holes look tacky on toys, I think. You don't want those to show. So, yeah, I'm going to do the rest of them. I'm going to put the camera down. Alright, so the screw holes are filled in on both sides of his body. And I also filled in the little uh, so-called speaker holes on his stomach. Um, and also what I'm doing now is I got these big carving needles. What I'm doing is I'm making little incisions little lines in his spikes. I don't, I don't know if you can see them really well, but just to make it look a little more detailed, I guess. Uh, yeah, just to make it look, you know, a little more rough. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. Gives it a whoops. Gives it a little more detailed look. There we go. Whew, this is pretty tiresome. Alright, so now while his spikes are drying, you, uh, you can start your painting now. I got some grays, I got uh, some brown, and I've got a blue because the blue, you can guess, is uh, I'm going to do the fire effect on his spikes. So I'm going to paint them a little bit blue. I got some black. Alright, and I got your paintbrushes here. I've, I've moved them to my... Um, living room table because I, I didn't want to get paint on the carpet and this you can easily just clean off so laid some cardboard down under his feet all right and let's get started painting
Okay, so I just went with the eight S and H Monster Arts uh, paint job because doing the movie one was just too hard to do, and so. But yeah, that looks good enough. Looks good enough. guys it is finally finished oh that took a long time very long time but it is finally done spikes are all nice and hardened now paints all dry it's good to go it's all done that was a lot of a lot of work but very fun it was very worth it he came out very good um I hate to say it, he's actually better than the other one I did. This one, I did a better paint job, I think. Um, I was able to blend it in a lot better with the color and all that. So, And the spikes, the spikes look great. They came out really good. Uh, with the fire effect all down his back and his tail, looks it looks very good. I'm so happy. Very proud of it. Um, yeah. Uh, so this one is actually, uh, like I, <clears throat> excuse me, like I said, it will be on eBay. I am going to sell it. I, I really hate to sell it because I just, I love it so much now. I don't want to par with it, but I bought it so I could sell it. So, um, if you want to check it out on eBay I'll put the link in the description of this video um, so you can see it for yourself I'll probably start it off as a cheap auction it'll be a timed uh, auction I'm not sure how long yet but um, but check it out on eBay you could be the lucky owner of this this masterpiece no I'm just kidding it's not a masterpiece I'm an amateur but I'm very proud of it. I hate to part with them, but I already have one, so I no point in having two. So, I'll, but I'll get you some close-ups of it. Let's get some close-ups. Okay, so first off, here I'll show you the spikes. Spikes came out great. The fire effect and added some detail in there. Um, yeah, I just did a light baby blue all down the tail right there. Uh, yeah, I'll show you the other side. There you go, right there. Woo! Alright, and for his body, you just uh, gray, brown, and a little bit of black. Blended in his chest there. So the color came out very smooth. Looks very well detailed, I think. I, so far, the best job I've done so far, I think, in my opinion. Yeah. It is undertail there too. So, and I covered up the screw holes with the clay, like I showed you. So, if you want to do this to your own, it's very easy to do. It's not as hard as it seems. If you're a younger, younger person, you know, you could use a parent's help. But if you're older, modeler. It's very easy to do. It's very time consuming, takes a lot of work, but um, it's still a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Uh, be, and you know, you get to be proud of your masterpiece when you're all done. So, yeah, there's the close ups of it. Alright, guys. Well, I'm going to end it off here. I hope you enjoyed this video. I, I really hope you like this guy. And I really hope you'll check out him, or bleh, check out him, well, check him out on eBay. He could be yours. So, yeah. Thank you for watching, everyone, and keep rocking.